The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. And guys, today it is Monday, meaning there are new Team of the Week items in the packs. And guys, we also have some nice sets to do as well. This week's player that you can pull in packs that's a limited time player is David Johnson. Now, David Johnson has gotten quite a few cards this year. But this is definitely the best of the bunch so far. So what I wanted to do, guys, is go in here and take a look at this thing. This is definitely, like I said, one of the best players that is currently in the game. The best David Johnson for sure. Uh, you guys can see here on your screen, there is already a 91. This is the, the draft champions player, the David Johnson, that's going for about 500,000 coins. But this upgraded one's going for about 600,000 coins right now on the PlayStation 4. This thing's got 92 speed. It's got 90 carrying, 90 trucking, 92 juke move, 92 acceleration. I mean, it's really one of the best balanced running backs in the game and they also give you some nice receiving attributes with it as well if you take a look 76 catching i mean that's pretty good for a running back for sure you take a look at some of the other attributes that it has down here as well um let's take a look spectacular catch 74 79 for catching traffic 80 for route running i mean not a lot of running backs are going to have those type of attributes especially when they're also good runners i mean there are definitely guys out there like your darren sproles and a couple guys like that that are really good receivers out of the backfield but they're not particularly good runners david johnson really gives you the best of both worlds so that's why this card's going for you know like i said 600,000 coins right now i'm assuming that price will probably drop here over the next week but we don't really know for sure so keep th keep that in mind guys this is definitely a good card to try and pull for right now now, if you're looking to do the defensive hero this week, that is going to be Vontez Perfect. He had a great game this week. Now, this card, in my opinion, is actually a little bit of a disappointment. If you take a look, it's only an 81 speed at the middle linebacker position. Now, what I will say is that it is a really great run support player, and it's a player that you don't have to use or control because it has really great awareness. It has really great pursuit. Zone coverage is solid. His hit power is really good as well. So, I mean, this is the type of card that... It in my personal opinion, if you're using a middle linebacker, I don't want this card. But if I'm not somebody that uses my middle linebacker, this is kind of the ideal player to have there because he's got so many of those really nice attributes that you can really take advantage of. So again, only really use this card in my personal opinion if you're not going to use it. So just keep that in mind. Now it is going for about 160,000 coins right now to purchase. It's a little bit more expensive than that to do the set as usual of course that, that's always the case because god forbid any sort of set in this game actually makes you profit but yeah i mean that's the that's the defensive hero now the offensive hero is actually jordy nelson now uh jordy nelson had a great game for the packers the packers are trying to make a late season surge to try and make the playoffs this year i don't know if it's going to happen but Jordy Nelson's definitely trying to put the team on his back. Cheapest one of his card right now looks like on the PlayStation 4 is going for 138,000. Um, the next highest one's 156,000, so it may be a little bit of a snipe. But let's take a look at this thing because it has decent attributes as well. The only thing that this card is really lacking, in my opinion, is the top end speed. It only has 88 speed which really isn't that great um now you look at like the 93 catch catch rating it has a 93 for route running 88 release is good so if they try and press you you can get off that pretty easily 91 catch in traffic um and obviously the fact that he's six foot three is a big advantage as well uh i definitely like that about the card it does have 91 acceleration so it can at least get up to that 88 speed pretty quickly but overall uh, you know what i don't really think this is that great of a receiver card you guys will have to try it out and tell me what you think but personally i just don't think it's that spectacular now a couple of the other players who did also get elite cards this week uh we have uh jordan howard of the uh chicago bears i think he scored three touchdowns in that game against the 49ers big time snow game pretty much both teams just ran the ball the entire game it was really bizarre uh it was almost like they were playing in like a a monsoon like that's the only way that i could describe it 
neither team wanted to pass the ball, or at least neither team was effective in passing the ball. So yeah, Jordan Howard got quite a few carries, as did Carlos Hyatt on the other side of the ball, but obviously Jordan Howard was a little bit more successful. Um, now Glover Quinn also got a card. He is an 88 overall. That's obviously a safety for the Lions. He's been really good in previous years. That is also a pretty nice card with 87 speed, 91 excel. Um, Zachary Orr got a card as well. It's the middle linebacker for the um, for the Baltimore Ravens. And on the other side of the ball, Joe Flacco also got, I think it might be his first elite card now that I think about it. Unless he has a base elite. I'm trying to remember. But either way, this is definitely the best Joe Flacco card. Flacco has not had a great season this year. So I think it's pretty smart of them to put Flacco into the game right now uh, as an 80. Uh, what is he? I'm, I'm looking over on my other screen here. He's an 87 overall, it looks like. Um, definitely a really nice card. He has 93 throw power as well. So that's definitely a pretty damn nasty card. Now, the last one that I wanted to show you guys, a couple other guys real quickly, Akeem Hicks, Brandon LaFell, Anthony Hitchens, all got cards. But this last one is one that I wanted to show you because I actually wanted to see the price for myself and I haven't looked. Um, so I'm going to quick go ahead and try and find this one. Now, uh, this is actually Ladarius Green. So, um, Ladarius Green has been having not that great of a season because of injuries, but um, he is definitely an interesting card. Sorry, we've got a little bit of a lag here on my screen, so I apologize. I'm kind of clicking around the place right now. Let's see here. Team of the week. There we go. And, okay, so here we go. This card right here, if you guys don't know, uh, Ladarius Green is typically one of the best tight ends to get if you're looking for like a big, tall, physical guy that's also super fast. So if you take a look at his attributes here, like I said, it's big, tall, and fast. Six foot six, 88 speed. This card is as fast as your, uh, your uh, Jordy Nelson that we just took a look at. Um, his acceleration is probably not quite as high. Let me uh, take a look here. Yeah, he's got 90 excel. So, I mean, that's almost, it's literally almost the same speed as Jordy Nelson. And he plays tight end and he's six foot six and he's 20,000 coins. So, like, something to think about anyway. I definitely think that this is one of the better tight ends right now. Um, very, very underrated in my opinion. I think if you're building a salary cap squad, this might be one to look at. I haven't really compared him to the other tight ends, but Ladarius Green's typically a very good tight end. Don't let him go under the radar. He is a certainly a, a really nice card. Now, what I want to do here at the end of this video, guys, is just wrap it up, opening a couple of packs, trying to get this David Johnson card or any of those cards, basically. I mean, they're uh, pretty much any of the, the team of the week ones would be nice to pull. So uh, we're going to try and do that here. We'll go in here and browse the store. Let's see if we can get anything going here. So we've got, uh, let's see here. We've got team of the week packs. Why don't we open up a pair of those? Let's start off though. Let's do, let's just do a small little five pack opening here. We're going to do two of the team of the week packs. We'll do three pro packs. See if we can get anything out of any of these. Maybe we'll get something good. Maybe we won't. Who knows? But let's see if we can make it happen, guys. All right. So Nick Becton, Chuck Pagano. Come on. We get our Nick Boyle. So that's going to be, well, actually we'll probably get two golds here. Yeah, we get a Jonathan Sullivan or John Sullivan and 82 overall. So, all right, we get two golds out of that one at least. We'll open up our second gold or our uh, second pro pack, pretty much called a gold pack because you never freaking pull elites in this damn game. But uh, we'll see if we get maybe the one time that I say that or maybe like the, the one time that I actually get lucky will be when I say that. We'll see here. All right. Nothing there. Nothing there. We get a Jermaine Bushrod. So that's pretty much going to do it on this pack, unfortunately, unless we get super lucky. So, all right, one more pack here of the Pro Packs, and then we'll rip those Team of the Weeks. The Team of the Weeks, I, I really don't really honestly recommend that you do. I just do it for the fun of it. I, I mean, I have a decent amount of coins right now. Um, probably be putting more money into the game here in just a little while so we can get more coins and open up more packs and things like that. But honestly, these things typically aren't that great of a value. We do get two golds out of this one as well, including a Jalen Ramsey, so that's not too bad. But we didn't pull any of the Team of the Weeks, so... Let's go in here. This is going to guarantee us at least two gold or better team of the week players. So we have a good opportunity here. We're going to get four total opportunities to pull the David Johnson or really any of the elites would be a great option. I mean, I, I know that like all of them aren't worth a whole ton. Like the uh, I'm sure that the uh, Zachary Orr is probably not worth anything. And right away we get an AJ Green elite to start it off. So that is actually not one of our guaranteed team of the week players. So that's actually a really nice pull. Very, very happy about that one. And we start off there with Sammy Coates. Totally forgot this will guarantee us any week's team of the weeks, if I remember correctly. Because I'm sure Sammy Coates wasn't from this week. Yeah, week five. So uh, let's see if we can get anything else going here. We get a Brandon LaFell. That's got to be from a previous week as well. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Just double checking. You know, actually, I think that is from this week. Yeah, it is. 
It's definitely from this week. So yeah, at least we get a, a this week's team of the week. That's a Brandon LaFell, so that's not too bad. Bradley Roby, Brandon Linder. Probably not going to get anything else there. Just uh, by the way, Justin Forsett. If if you're a fantasy player and you're looking for maybe like a sneaky player for the end of the year, Justin Forsett just signed with the Denver Broncos today, and he's not a bad option. Now, granted. He isn't the best player in terms of pure skill, but he had the best season of his career in that Gary Kubiak offense back when Kubiak was coaching uh, the offense for the Ravens. Or uh, not, was it for the Ravens? Yeah, it was for the Ravens. I'm, I'm almost, I'm like 99% sure I'm having a little bit of a melt, brain meltdown right now. But yeah, Justin Forsett had, a, had his biggest year uh, a couple of years back when he was in that Kubiak offense, and now he's going over there. Devontae Booker has not looked good. So that's somebody you could consider picking up. I would almost guarantee you that he's on the waiver wire in your fantasy league. And if you're thin at running back right now, if you're looking for somebody who can maybe help you get that playoff push or uh, help you out if you've already made the playoffs and you're, you know, you got an injury or something like that at the position, he is a good option. So definitely consider picking him up. I don't guarantee anything at this point out of him, but he's somebody that's better than like a backup running back on another team. We get another Brandon LaFell there. Unfortunately, not anything great. Ah, and then we get an Akeem Hicks, probably one of the lowest valued ones that we could take that we could get in that pack but maybe we'll get something else good here we still got a couple other players that we can open up got a couple other gold slots so we end up actually getting three team of the week players out of this one we get two brandon lafells so what we got three total brandon lafells that's kind of bizarre but at least we got three team of the week players so those at least have some value ben benwinkery and a jadavion clowny so guys that is going to do it for this video hopefully you enjoyed it please do me a favor if you did and drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you are new and I'll talk to you guys again soon.